Well, hello, everybody. As you can see, I'm being joined by my good friend, Barney. Hi there. Now, Barney, you realize we've gone through the entire catechism. That's right, we have. All 118 questions and answers. But at the end of the catechism, the end, that means we're done, we're done, finished, that's it. Well, not quite. At the end of the catechism, there's an excellent summary of Christian teaching called the Apostles' Creed. The Apostles' Creed? What's a creed? Is that when you're creedy for lots of ice cream and chips and candy? No, 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 that's greedy with a G. This is creed with a C. C -c 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 creed. What's a c -c 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 creed? Well, a creed is a statement of belief. It tells us what we as Christians believe. Okay, and it's called the Apostles' Creed, right? That's right. What's an apostle? Well, an apostle means a sent one. That is, sent by God. In the Bible, the apostles usually refer to the 12 men that Jesus chose as his closest followers. Okay. Anybody else? Well, Paul and Barnabas were called apostles as well. Cool. So, like, did the apostles write the Apostles' Creed? Well, we don't really know who wrote the Apostles' Creed. We think it may have come in the 3rd or 4th century, maybe the 5th, but it reflects the basic teachings of the Apostles as written in the Bible. It's a short summary of the basic Christian beliefs. Well, what does it say? Well, the Apostles' Creed goes as follows. Here it is. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead. The third day he rose again from the dead. He, he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Man, that's a lot to know. What does it all mean? Well, the first part is, I believe. What does it mean to believe? Well, to believe something is to accept that something is true. To believe, in, to believe in something or to believe in someone is to trust in that something or someone. Okay, so Christians believe something. What do we believe in? Well, first of all, the creed, the creed says, I believe in God. But who or what is God? We've gone through 118 catechisms and you're asking me who God is? I forgot. Okay. All right, fair enough. As the Baptist Catechism says, God is the first and the best of beings. Or as another catechism says, God is the first, the last, and greatest of all. God is the supreme being over all other beings that exist, have existed, or will exist. Does the Bible say this about God? Oh, yes. In Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6, we read, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. So there's no God but God? That's right. No God but the Lord. There is one God. Okay. Where else does the Bible say this? Well, in Psalm chapter 8, verse 1, it says, O Lord, our Lord. How excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Okay, it says it there. Where else? Okay, well, Psalm chapter 97 verse 9 says, For you, Lord, are most high above all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Okay, where else? Well, 
First Samuel chapter two, verse two says, no one is holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you, nor is there any rock like our God. So God is better than you? Oh, he's much better than me. Is he better than my dad? Yes, he's better than your dad. Is he better than the policeman? Yep. Is he better than the prime minister? Oh, yes. Is he better than the queen? Yes, he is. Is he better than Batman? Yes, God is better than Batman. Is God better than Superman? Oh, God is way better than Superman. But Superman can fly and stop bullets. Well, yes, but first of all, Superman isn't real. Superman is fiction. God is real. You see, God is all-powerful. That's why we call him Almighty. God is the greatest of all. Cool. What else does the Apostles' Creed teach? Well, come back next time. Join us next time, and you'll find out. We'll find out more about what the Apostles' Creed says and more about who God is. So join us next week as we learn the Apostles' Creed together. For now, just learn the phrase, I believe in God. And we'll see you next time.